Polka The polka is originally a Czech dance and genre of dance music familiar throughout Europe and the Americas. It originated in the middle of the 19th century in Bohemia, now part of the Czech Republic. The polka remains a popular folk music genre in many European countries, and is performed by folk artists in the Czech Republic, Germany, Austria, Slovenia, Switzerland, and Finland, and to a lesser extent in Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, the Netherlands, Hungary, Italy, Ukraine, Romania, Belarus, Russia, and Slovakia. Local varieties of this dance are also found in the Nordic countries, Spain's Basque country, the United Kingdom, Ireland, Latin America and the United States. The term polka possibly comes from the Czech word polka, referring to the short half-steps featured in the dance. Czech cultural historian and ethnographer Czenek Seibert, who wrote in detail about the origin of the dance, in his book, Jack say KDV struck tanko velo side is an opinion of Franti Shek Dusha that polka was supposed to mean dance in half, both referring to the half tempo and the half jump step of the dance. Zybert also ironically dismisses the etymology suggested by A. Von Rich that polka comes from the Czech word pole. On the other hand, Zdenek Najidli suggests that the etymology given by F. R. Dusha is nothing but an effort to prove the true Czech folk origin of polka. Instead, he claims that according to Yaroslav Langer in the area of Roditz Kralove, the tune Krakowiecki from the collection Slovonsk Narodny Pizna Frontyshek Ladislav Selikovsky became very popular so that it was used to dance Trazak, Britva, and Kbapik, and this way was called Polka. Najidli also writes that Vaklav Vladivaj Tomic also claims the Roditz Kralove roots of a Polka. OED also suggests that the name may have been derived from Czech Polka meaning Polish woman. The word was widely introduced into the major European languages in the early 1840s. It should not be confused with the Polska, a Swedish dance with Polish roots. A related dance is the Retowa. Polkas almost always have a time signature. Folk music of polka style appeared in written music about 1800. The beginning of the propagation of dance and accompanying music called polka is generally attributed to a young woman, Anna Slesikova. The music teacher Joseph Neruda noticed her dancing in an unusual way to accompany a local folk song called Strikek Nimrakupal Simla, or Uncle Nimra Bought a White Horse, in 1830. She is said to have called the dance Madera because of its liveliness. The dance was further propagated by Neruda, who put the tune to paper and taught other young men to dance it. Chanik Seibert notices that a common claim had the events happened in Tienitz nad Lapim, Bohemia in 1834 is incorrect. Zybert writes that when he published this traditional story in 1894 in Nerdny Listy newspaper, he received a good deal of feedback from eyewitnesses. In particular, he wrote that according to further witness, the originating event actually happened in 1830, in Castellitz nad Lobham, where she worked as a housemaid. Zybert writes that he published the first version of the story in Bohemia, from where it was reprinted all over Europe and in the United States. Zybert also wrote that simple Czech folk claimed that he knew and danced polka long before the nobles got hold of it, i.e., it is a truly folk Czech dance. By 1835, this dance had spread to the ballrooms of Prague. From there, it spread to Vienna by 1839, and in 1840 was introduced in Paris by Rob, a Prague dance instructor. It was so well received by both dancers and dance masters in Paris that its popularity was referred to as polka mania. The dance soon spread to London and was introduced to America in 1844. It remained a popular ballroom dance until the late 19th century, when it would give way to the two-step and new ragtime dances. Polka dancing enjoyed a resurgence in popularity after World War II, when many Polish refugees moved to the U.S., adopting this bohemian style as a cultural dance. Polka dances are still held on a weekly basis across many parts of the U.S. with significant populations of Central European origin. It was also found in parts of South America. There are various styles of contemporary polka besides the original Czech dance, which is still the chief dance at any formal or countryside ball in the Czech Republic. One of the types found in the United States is the North American Polish style polka, which has roots in Chicago, with large Czech and Polish minorities. Two substyles are the Chicago Honky and Chicago Push featuring the accordion, Chemnitzer and Star Concertinas, upright bass or bass guitar, drums, and two trumpets. North American Slovenian-style polka is fast and features piano accordion, chromatic accordion, and or diatonic button box accordion, it is associated with Cleveland. North American Dutchman-style features a numpa sound often with a tuba and banjo, 
and has roots in the American Midwest. Conjunto-style polkas have roots in northern Mexico and Texas, and are also called Norteño. Traditional dances from this region reflect the influence of polka dancing European immigrants. In the 1980s and 1990s, several American bands began to combine polka with various rock styles, alternative polka, or San Francisco style. There also exist Curazao polkas, Peruvian polkas. In the pampas of Argentina, the polka has a very fast beat with a time signature. Instruments used are, acoustic guitar, electric or acoustic bass, accordion, and sometimes some percussion is used. The lyrics always praise the gaucho warriors from the past or tell about the life of the gaucho camperos. The polka was very popular in South and Southwest of Brazil, where it was mixed with other European and African styles to create the choro. The polka is also one of the most popular traditional folk dances in Ireland, particularly in Schlieve Luacra, a district that spans the borders of counties Kerry, Cork, and Limerick. Many of the figures of Irish set dances, which developed from continental quadrilles, are danced to polkas. Introduced to Ireland in the late 19th century, there are today hundreds of Irish polka tunes, which are most frequently played on the fiddle or button accordion. The Irish polka is dance music form in, typically 32 bars in length and subdivided into four parts, each eight bars in length and played up. Irish polkas are typically played fast, at over 130 bpm, and are typically played with an offbeat accent. The polka also migrated to the Nordic countries where it is known by a variety of names in Denmark, Estonia, Finland, Iceland, Norway and Sweden. The beats are not as heavy as those from Central Europe and the dance steps and holtz also have variations not found further south. The polka is considered a part of the Gamaldon's tradition of music and dance. While it is nowhere near as old as the older Nordic dance and music traditions, there are still hundreds of polka tunes in each of the Nordic countries. They are played by solo instrumentalists or by bands slash ensembles, most frequently with lead instruments such as accordion, fiddle, diatonic accordion, harding fella and nickel harpa. Bejik Smetana incorporated the polka in his opera The Bartered Bride, and in particular, Act One. While the polka is bohemian in origin, most dance music composers in Vienna composed polkas and included the dance in their repertoire at some point of their career. The Strauss family in Vienna for example, while probably better known for their waltzes also composed polkas that have survived obscurity. Joseph Lanner and other Viennese composers in the 19th century also wrote many polkas to satisfy the demands of the dance music loving Viennese. In France, another dance music composer Emile Valteufel also wrote many polkas in addition to his chief profession of penning waltzes. The polka evolved during the same period into different styles and tempi. In principle, the polka written in the 19th century has a four theme structure themes 1a and 1b as well as a trio section of a further two themes. The trio usually has an entrada to form a break between the two sections. The feminine and graceful French polka is slower in tempo and is more measured in its gaiety. Johann Strauss II's Anon Polka Opus 114, Demo Lyra Polka Opus 269, the Imkrapfenwald Lopus Opus 336 and the Bittischern. Polka Opus 372 are examples of this type of polka. The polka mazurka is also another variation of the polka, being in the tempo of a mazurka but danced in a similar manner as the polka. The final category of the polka form around that time is the polka schnell, which is a fast polka or gallop. Edward Strauss is better known for this last category, as he penned the Bond Fry Polka Opus 45 and other examples. Earlier, Johann Strauss I and Joseph Lanner wrote polkas designated as a gallop or as a regular polka that may not fall into any of the categories above. The polka was a further source of inspiration for the Strauss family in Vienna when Johann II and Joseph Strauss wrote one for plucked string instruments only, the well-known pizzicato polka. Johann II later wrote a new pizzicato polka, Opus 449, cult from music of his operetta Furstini Netta. Much earlier, he also wrote a joke polka entitled Champagne Polka, Opus 211, which evokes the uncorking of champagne bottles. Other composers who wrote music in the style of the polka were Yaromir Weinberger, Dmitry Shostakovich, and Igor Stravinsky. In the United States, polka is promoted by the International Polka Association based in Chicago, which works to preserve the cultural heritage of polka music and to honor its musicians through the Polka Hall of Fame. Polka is also popular in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where the beer barrel polka is played during the seventh inning stretch and halftime of Milwaukee Brewers and Milwaukee Bucks games. 
Polka is also the official state dance of Wisconsin. Wisconsin also is the home to multiple large Polish festivities where people from all over the country come to stay and listen to multiple bands on multiple days of music. These festivals usually take place in the summer, but there are a few in the winter months. The United States Polka Association is a nonprofit organization based in Cleveland, Ohio. The Polka Hall of Fame is in Euclid, Ohio, a suburb of Cleveland. Walter Solak was one of the early polka pioneers starting in the late 1930s. Recognition expanded when the Grammy Awards were first presented for Polk in 1985. The first award went to America's Polka King, Frankie Yankovic, for his 70 years of hits album on Cleveland International Records, produced by Joey Miskulin and Dragudin Razum in 1986. Cleveland International Records had another Polka Grammy winner with Brave Combo's Polka Sonic in 1999. Other Polka Grammy nominees on Cleveland International Records include Frankie Yankovic's America's Favorites, Songs of the Polka King Vol. I, Songs of the Polka King Volume 2, and Brave Combo's Kick-Ass Polkas. Jimmy Stir and his orchestra is arguably the most popular polka band in America, having won 18 out of the 24 Grammy Awards given for Grammy Award for Best Polka Album. Polka Varieties was an hour-long television program of polka music originating from Cleveland, Ohio. The show aired in several U.S. cities, and ran from 1956 until 1983. At that time, it was the only television program for this type of music in the U.S. Beginning with its inception in 2001, the RFD-TV network aired The Big Joe Show, a television program that included polka music and dancing. It was filmed on location in various venues throughout the United States from 1973 through 2009. RFD-TV replaced The Big Joe Show with Molly Busta's Polka Fest in January 2011. After Big Joe's death, reruns of The Big Joe Show returned to RFD-TV in 2015. In 2009, the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences, which hosts produces the Grammy Awards, announced that it was eliminating the polka category. The Academy's official reason for eliminating the polka award was to ensure the awards process remains representative of the current musical landscape. The Academy's decision stems from the declining number of popular polka albums considered for an award in recent years. For example, out of the five polka albums nominated for an award in 2006, only one album was widely distributed in the mainstream. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.